Hey guys, so uh, I actually put a picture up on uh, Reddit Roast Me, and I wanted to read some of the funnier comments that I got from that. And a couple of things first. I, I, I asked people to roast my AI picture from the Texas Cyber Summit. I'm going to be speaking at the Texas Cyber Summit uh, this September on how America might lose the next war. And uh, this year, the Texas Cyber Summit, instead of having speaker pictures, they decided to make our AI generate all of our pictures to start a conversation about AI. And uh, I, I, it made me look like the, the character that you select in like a Smash Brothers video game. You know? So here's, here's some of the, the funnier comments uh, that, I, that I found on Reddit. And I'll have a, have a link to the, um, to the Reddit uh, description down below, which reminds me something. I actually have a, uh, I have a Twitter and I have a, an Instagram. You can find those below. I strongly suggest you follow me on Twitter and Instagram because in a couple of months, YouTube is going to remove the ability to click links in YouTube Shorts. So you might have a harder time going to links. So join me on Twitter and uh, find me on, um, on uh, Instagram. So let's start with Zussel. Uh, who says, you look like you say thank you after you pick up your wife from her boyfriend's house. Ah, joke's on you, because somebody else said below. That would imply this sad fellow is married. Good. That, that was the actual top comment there. Next up, wife, the cartoon version, has a better chance of finding a wife than this guy. Uh, it sucks being 47, I'll tell you that. Next up, uh, the, if the enemy had fired calories at you, they never would have missed. What can I say, man? Food tastes good. Uh, surprised the AI didn't generate you in a bathrobe and underwear with a cigar in your mouth. That is true. Clutching a half-empty bottle of bourbon you opened at 10 a.m. this morning while you question how someone who runs so much could be so overweight. Like I said, man, food tastes good. Um, and someone else said down here, if you stopped eating, we wouldn't need Ukrainian grain exports. <laughs> Uh, next up, data scientists believe that 35% of internet traffic is related to uh, adult material, another 35 is related to YouTube and Netflix, and the remaining 30% are just Ryan McBeth's updates on his irrelevant life. I, I, I can't argue with that one. I, I, I don't know, it's like one of those weird things. It's like, do people actually like to see the behind the scenes stuff, or do they just want intel analysis? I, it seems like people like the behind the scenes stuff. Uh, next up, you remind me of Gomer Powell from Full Metal Jacket. If he instead swallowed, ate the bullet, and then got into cryptozoology and anime NFTs later in life. Are NFTs still a thing? I have, I have no idea if NFTs are still a thing. My Alexa just went off. Uh, next up, uh, initially I thought this was an AMA and everyone was being seriously rude. All right, uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, this is probably the most genuinely offensive thing that I saw. Your combat patch is from Kuwait. Like, oh. Those are like fighting words. I replied, Kuwait is a combat deployment. Do you see how they drive? Someone else said uh, he wasn't talking. Oh, uh, there are no cars driving between the MWR and the DFAC. <laughs> Who are you fooling? And now MWR is where like you might uh, military welfare and recreation. It's where you might check your internet, you know, get get a uh, call home or check your internet. And DFAC is a dining facility. Uh, next up. He left the army but couldn't get the soldier out of him. He wakes up early, still rocks, his gut counts as a rucksack, and drinks like that's his after his second divorce, but spending 24 hours in the eyes an hour. My God, Ryan, you'll never get the semen out of you. All right, next up. Somehow the AI portrait has better hair than you. You bump your caloric intake down to 3K instead of 5K. I think you could afford plugs. It sucks. Dude, it sucks getting older, man. And you know, I, I did a video a couple of days ago. You, you can find it on my uh, on my Substack. It's through my paid subscribers, uh, where I I, I have uh, I don't know if you guys eh, you probably can't see. I have some gear back there that I'm going to take with me on a on an air assault with 101st Airborne. And so I I, I tried to uh, I slept outside and I I used some of this camping stuff to make sure I, I knew how to to work everything, fire up the stoves and all that. Uh, you know, make myself some dinner. And uh, what's funny is that like I got up to go to the bathroom like two, three times that night, like I do every night. And that, that's probably going to be the big difference between going to the field at 37 and going to the field at 47. Like my, my prostate and my bladder are fighting with each other and the loser gets cancer. Yeah. 
Uh, next up, uh, your hairline is receded more than the Russian front lines. <laughs> I like that one. Um, Ryan Macbeth, proudly sponsored by Sad Bachelor Chow. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. I, I didn't take a picture of it, but a couple of days ago, like I was hungry and I made, uh, I made salmon. But like, I just made salmon. I didn't make any vegetables. <laughs> I just like a one pound thing of salmon, put some Old Bay on it and ate it. I mean, it, it'll, it'll make a turd, right? Uh, next up, you look like you enjoy sitting on I-495. <clears throat> so, for those of you who don't live in the D.C. area, Washington, D.C. area, I live in Silver Spring, Maryland. I-495 is the beltway. It, it circles the, um, it circles Washington, D.C. and there's always traffic in Washington, D.C. And I don't, I don't know why I find that so funny, but it's it's freaking funny. And uh, the other funny thing is that I, I'm at the point now where I don't date girls who live in Virginia. Like if I'm if I'm on like a dating app and I see a girl and she lives in Virginia, I live in Silver Spring. It could take an hour and a half to go from Silver Spring to like Tyson's Corner, Virginia. Like it, you look at it on the Google Maps, and you're like, oh, it's only six miles. You, you can be in the car for an hour and a half because Maryland drivers just for some reason they can't keep the car between the two white lines and they just <laughs> it's so 495 is always there's always a traffic jam on 495 and it, it's not just volume it's usually because Maryland drivers for some reason they just can't keep the car between the two white lines uh, next your speaker looks like the cover of a 99 cent straight to Kindle pulp fiction titled Ryan Macbeth the battle for the buffet Ah, that's funny. Um, now, in, in my in my uh, uh, the the roast uh, posting, I had to like put my job or like details about me. I said I'm a journalist, YouTuber, disinformation researcher, intel analyst, just a cyber guy. And someone else goes, "That's a lot of words to say you're a failed social media influencer." <laughs> the the AI version of you sucks. Like the South Park version better. And, and the South Park version is, of course, the the guy from World of Warcraft. But you're probably. <laughs> um the ai picture can get a few dates you can't That's, that is that is especially true now uh you're like it's like one of the people from wally -E decided he was going to live the player life uh what do you have more of monitors or bypass surgeries so you know here's what's funny i i i i used to have so at, at my so I, i'm in virginia right now i've been staying at a friend's house and um, this, uh, I, I have a setup here where I have just two monitors. My old house, in my, my current apartment, I have three monitors. And I, I really miss that third monitor. I absolutely love that third monitor. I think the more monitors, the better. But uh, next, next one, mom, I want a conspiracy theorist. Mom, no, we have conspiracy theorists at home. <laughs> All right, that's funny. Uh, I'll hack you, but I'm afraid I might get your identity. <laughs> Uh, ahem, you look like, you look to be a 40-year-old virgin with a crippling Lego addiction and Lunchables clogging your fridge and arteries. That's pretty funny. Uh, cyber guy using Windows 11, more like an office desk manager with some fancy tricks to show on his influencer YouTube channel. Uh, hey Ryan, love your work. Are you all bitter that Angry Cops, Donut Operator, and Brandon Herrera think you're a total nerd? <laughs> It's not those three that I wonder about. I wonder about Preston Stewart. Like, I wonder if, like, every time I email Preston Stewart, he's like, oh, God, not this freaking guy again. That's kind of what I wonder about. Or, same thing with the Chieftain. I can just picture the Chieftain. He's, he's doing his own research, doing his own thing, and then he gets an email from me like, oh, God, this guy again. So, well... Uh, look, uh, there's a link to uh, to this down in the pinned comments below. Like I said, remember, uh, connect with me on Twitter or on Instagram because I'm, I'm not going to be able to post links, at least in my shorts soon. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want one of my Landmine t-shirts, grab one from Bunker Branding and take us out, Elon. Oh, hi, America. It's me, Elon. Uh, if you want to be cool like me, go and get a Ryan McBeth t-shirt or hoodie from Bunker Branding. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a high mile shirt because it fires rockets and rockets are pretty cool, just like me. Ha 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 ha, you fool. It is me, Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook, and I will be the coolest once I get a Patriot shirt because the system is fully automated, just like me. Oh.
I'm going to get a U.S. Navy Department of the Boat People hoodie because I love their management style. Now, I will be cooler than any of you lads once I get to my drone sweet drone shot. Now, I'm going to get a landmine marker shirt because they blow up just like windows. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to get. Oh, no. It is Steve Wozniak from uh, Apple. That's right, you nerds. You think you're the coolest for wearing a shirt? Well, Ryan Macbeth is all the work. Yeah. So go buy a shirt from Bump of branding to fund Ryan Macbeth to increase your understanding. Oh yeah!